Yo, Fatima, you heard about the new project that we doing? No, tell me more about it. Hey, tell me about it. Well, yeah, Fatima, well, so far in this program, we've done so much to help the community. For example, in regards to COVID relief, or washing hands, wearing your mask, and even about the food drive coming up. Tell me more about it, Chris. My name is Imani. I'm a part of the CYSC program, and I'm also a football player. During our season, somebody caught COVID, and it, and it shut us down for a while, but Using what I learned from the CYSC program, I was able to educate my teammates and we were able to, to win the rest of our games and go through the rest of our season without any more COVID cases. Good. Hi, my name is Sierra Miller and I have been a leader using the CYSC principles by helping out my underclassmen, by passing out masks and being a mentor to those who need it. Okay, um, my name is Jalea. Um, I hold a lot of leadership positions within the school and within our um, our group, CYSC, I took lead during one of our um, projects where I helped create, it, uh, create the posters that we put up around the school to inform kids to like wear their mask correctly. And yeah. That's it. My name is Chris. And, um, basically, I'm with CYSC. And we've been working on a food drive from December 6th through the 15th to give back to the community in the urban area um, and basically to give to the less fortunate so around Christmas time they can have something to eat and basically this food drive just pertains to um, giving canned foods, box foods, any foods in the household that you like can afford to give away or if you want to or if you're generous enough to just go buy the food, put it in the box, bring it to us and we'll distribute it. And we're also working on a coat drive that should start up sometime in January because it's still cold around that time from January to like March. So during the beginning of the school year, it was a lot of COVID cases with the volleyball team going into the football team, which thus then kicked a lot of students out of school for two weeks for quarantine. We then made um, COVID bags just to make sure students wear their mask and have hand sanitizer for what they need to do. The end. What me and my peers did to prepare for the reopening of schools is we made sure masks is passed out with COVID care packages that we made. Masks is passed out, hand sanitizer, wipes, all that. So COVID, could, we can stop the spread of COVID while school is opening back up. Hello, my name is Davier Ellis. Uh, I'm 18 and I go to South Shore. And the way I help my peers stay safe during the reopening of school is um, I, help, I, I told my friends to make sure they keep their mask on to, to prevent the, um, the spread of COVID and, and yeah. Hello, my name is Oluwalo Shetemi Ajikaye. I go to South Shore High School. Um, the ways that I help my peers and myself stay safe during the time of COVID from one myself was by always wearing my mask, keeping an extra pair of hand sanitizer. Um, and for my peers, I would advise them to get their COVID vaccination because I myself am fully vaccinated. Um, me and my um, peers would um, make goodie bags, well, little bags that had masks and hand sanitizer, and we would pass it out to other students within the school. Um, we would make little posters and flyers that says um, no eating in the hallways because you always have to have your mask on and just different ways to always, you know, keep your mask above your nose and not like below your mouth because you can get it anyhow and in the bathrooms um, we make sure that the soaps are refilled and there's tissue paper in the bathrooms and by just always when you're walking around and you see someone someone with their mask down we always tell them that they should keep their mask up so that everyone can stay safe thank you